This video is brought to you by Stride Funding, an affordable, flexible, and supportive way to pay for your physical therapy education with income share agreements. Today I wanted to talk about different ways that you can pay for physical therapy school because it is a very important decision when becoming a PTA or becoming a PT. It can literally set you up for success in your career after graduation or it can set you up for a struggle after your graduation. So it's a very important decision and I wanted to get you thinking about it. So let's jump into different ways to pay for college. One of the first ways that you can pay for school is through working. Like crazy thought, right? That you can actually get a job and put in hard work, get paid, save that money until you need to pay for college. Like, why didn't I think of that, Tony? You are just so smart. Yeah, I know, I know. I know I'm just being sarcastic and this is common sense that you can pay for school by working, but this is honestly a really effective way to cut down your debt once you graduate. If you can work while you're in college or work while you're in high school and save that money. I know it's not possible for everyone if you have a family or if your work schedule conflicts with your school schedule. I know it's just not possible, but if you can save away some money to pay for a semester here or there or pay for your books, it will help you out so much more when you graduate. Now what happens if you're not able to fully pay for school just by working, you can get a traditional loan. I actually had to take out a loan when I was in school because I wasn't able to pay it fully in cash. And so I can't remember if it was like a subsidized loan or unsubsidized or <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but basically you take out a loan, it has a set interest rate and then you have to pay that for a duration of time like 10 years. So once a month you have a payment after you graduate to pay for your student loans. The best thing to do with a loan like this is pay it off as as soon as possible. But to do this, you have to put down extra payments, you have to put down bigger payments so that you're actually knocking down the principal and not just paying off the interest. So that can be hard if you don't necessarily get a job right away after college, or if you're not quite making as much as you thought you would, or if you have a family, you have a house payment, you have a car payment, you have utilities. So it can be hard to pay off that debt, but if you don't, it just keeps accumulating and it takes forever to pay off your student loans. So what's an alternative way to pay for school then that is where our sponsor comes in. The third way that you can pay for school is through an income share agreement otherwise known as an ISA and a cool company called Stride Funding does this. Stride Funding offers students an innovative alternative to traditional student loans. With an ISA, you pay a small fixed percentage of your future earnings over a five-year term following graduation. Because payments are always the same percentage of income, you never pay more than you can afford. Some of the benefits of Stride Funding is that payments are based on your future income that you're going to be earning. So if you don't get a job out of college, you don't owe anything. Or if you get laid off for a period of time, you don't owe anything during that time period. Stride Funding also offers career support and guidance because they want you to succeed. That's how they get paid. If you get a successful job out of college and earn an income, they get a percentage of that income. So they want you to succeed. So they're actually there to help you through this process, which I think is great. If you are interested in learning more about Stride Funding, then let me know in the comment section and I'll make a video that fully breaks down their service and how they can help. For a free quote, or if you want to learn more, there's a link in the description below. Way number four, that you can pay for school would be like if you have a grandma that has a will with your name on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like yeah, hey grandma, where's that piggy bank you have with all the money in it and stuff? Scam grandma out of a few bucks, you know? Don't do that. Don't, don't oh. do that. No, no, never mind, grandma. I'm just, I'm just kidding. The fifth way you can pay for school the fifth way you can pay for school is through a scholarship. I didn't actually sign up for any scholarship for anything like that, but a lot of my friends did. My wife actually did, and she was able to get a lot of her school paid for. So try to get a scholarship. The sixth way to pay for school would be through financial aid. Sometimes if you don't earn enough income or your parents don't, or you come from a divorced home, something like that, sometimes you're able to get financial aid that will pay for school. So that's an option as well if you fit in that category. The seventh way that you can pay for school is through a company. So there are 
are some companies out there, I think maybe like Starbucks or certain hospitals or certain facilities, they will actually pay for you to further your education. They'll pay for like a bachelor's degree or they'll pay for you to get your master's or associates. So check around and see what companies are hiring near you to see if they will actually pay for you to further your education in return for you continuing to work for them. That's a great way to save you some money. There you guys go. I hope this gives you some different ideas of how you can pay for school and just get you thinking about it because it can set you up for success after you graduate. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you on another one. Peace.